I served as the president of the Tripoli Society over the last year and we put on events and organise activities for the students to enhance their experience here. They can range from nights out to staff versus student charity quizzes, the end of year formal ball, we did a trip to a tour around a power station, interesting lectures and loads of other things that really enhance the student experience. I chose to study here because the Tripoli department has a long history and a very strong reputation. So the best bit about the course for me is learning lots of interesting things in the lectures and then being able to go and put that into practice in the fantastic lab facilities we have in the Diamond and around the university. One thing that's really stood out to me over the past couple of years is the support that I get from lecturers and all staff across the university. They're all really helpful and willing to go above and beyond to help me and my colleagues to really get the best education. Within the Tripoli department, we have three main research groups. One working on semiconductors, the second one working on machine energy drives, and the third one working on communications. For facilities, I do think our department has one of the best in the country. Uh, teaching facilities, the Diamond Building, even our main competitors, they know about that. They even notice the popularity of Diamond among new applicants. I know that our graduates got a job in big companies like Vodafone, BT, and that's really related to their subject areas because they got a degree from IEEE. I'm finally a IEEE student working towards an MH degree in electronic engineering. I'm originally from Sri Lanka, so it's been four years here in Sheffield. As an international student, the environment in Sheffield is quite welcoming. They, uh, there's a quite a diverse uh, student population from many different countries, so it's been quite like home. Uh, the best thing about the course for me was the practical aspect of it, so the tutorials and the lab sessions. The lectures and the lab assistants have been really helpful with the work. Um, I just study electronic and electrical engineering because I like to find out how things work. So at home I'll be always around taking things apart to see what's inside. And most of them were electrical things. So, um, I want to study more about it and how to build them myself. So I chose to do E. And here in Sheffield there's a really strong engineering background so I thought why not Sheffield is a good place. One of the strengths of Sheffield in this area, in the semiconductor area, is that we can we can do the, the complete semiconductor process, we can grow the materials, we can fabricate devices and we can test the devices all in-house. So not only do we have the facilities to do that, we've also got the expertise. The lectures, the teaching, the projects and the, the labs are all set by experts in that field. We have students that have gone out into industry, we've got students working in multinational semiconductor companies stretched around the world actually. Uh, but we also have people that have gone on to work in other uh, non semiconductor related industries with the skills that they've gained. And a lot of our students actually carry on to do PhDs. People know the names when you study in UK and you study in Sheffield University, so they would definitely have an idea about your background and what you have faced in universities and things like that. I guess that would help me in future to go into industry or even if I just change my mind to study PhD. To be honest with you, I didn't really consider Sheffield before I came here. And when I came here, it just felt so right. The city's great, the university's great, all the people are lovely, and there's so much to get involved in. I'm really glad I chose Sheffield.